Well, hello. Welcome back. <laughs> this episode, we're going to look at Isaiah chapter 53. Now, I've been told, and I've studied this, that this seems like it may be a passage directly about Jesus. And if that's true, that's just incredible. That directly connects the Old Testament with the New Testament. It directly says that Jesus is coming to be the Messiah. It's almost like a direct description of Jesus. So again, we're not sure. <laughs> so let's just read the passage together and you can form your own conclusion. So does Isaiah 53 talk about Jesus or does it talk about something else? As usual, let's learn together. So here we have Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53, 1. Who has believed our message? To whom has Yahweh's arm been revealed? For he grew up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He has no good looks or majesty. When we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of suffering and acquainted with disease. He was despised as one from whom men hide their face and we didn't respect him. Surely he has borne our sickness and carried our suffering. Yet we considered him plagued, struck by God, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought our peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. Everyone has turned to his own way, and Yahweh has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, yet when he was afflicted, he didn't open his mouth as a lamb that is led to the slaughter and as a sheep that before its shearers is silent, so he didn't open his mouth. He was taken away by oppression and judgment. As for his generation, who considered that he was cut off out of the land of the living and stricken for the disobedience of my people. They made his grave with the wicked and with a rich man in his death, although he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased Yahweh to bruise him. He has caused him to suffer. When you make his soul an offering for sin, he will see his offspring. He will prolong his days and Yahweh's pleasure will prosper in his hand. After the suffering of his soul, he will see the light and be satisfied. My righteous servant will justify many by the knowledge of himself, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him a portion with the great. He will divide the plunder with the strong because he has poured out his soul to death and is counted with the transgressors. Yet he bore the sins of many and made intercession for the transgressors. So just a quick note, because I've always struggled with this question. What are we guilty of? I mean, we're guilty of sin, but according to the Bible, it seems like we can't help but sin. You know, they say we have a sinful nature, which bends us towards sin. We have the devil trying to tempt us with sin. We're frail creatures who just, you know, don't care sometimes, get tired and frustrated sometimes. And we're supposed to conquer all this and don't sin. So I, I struggled with this. But then I found this verse, Isaiah 53, 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. 
everyone has turned to his own way, and Yahweh has laid on him the iniquity of us all. So there's the sin. You know, it's like we have a cure right in front of us, and we don't take the cure. We don't turn to God, and that is our sin. All we like sheep have gone astray. We've gone our own way, and that is sin. We're not created to do that. We're created to follow God. So this verse helped a lot. We're at least guilty of rebellion, if nothing else. So let's keep learning together. And now for a new modern expression. This is the idea, like a lamb led to the slaughter. And this means a person is innocent or unaware of the dangers ahead. This comes from Isaiah 53, 7. He was oppressed, yet when he was afflicted, he didn't open his mouth. As a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and as a sheep that before its shearers is silent, so he didn't open his mouth. So we would use these like, you know, uh, somebody starting a new job. And they said, he doesn't know what he's up against. He's like a lamb led to the slaughter. So, like a lamb led to the slaughter.